A novel human milk fortifier container prevents breast milk waste and makes the process of breast milk fortification more efficient. A study conducted by principal investigator Amy Gates, neonatal dietitian from Augusta University and co-investigator myself, Bethany Hodges, neonatal dietitian from Bronson Children's Hospital. Preterm infants are fed almost exclusively by tube feeding for the first few weeks of life. The standard of care for preterm infant feeding is breast milk, either maternal or donor milk. This breast milk must be fortified to meet the needs of the infant and support growth. The current process of preparation and fortification of breast milk is time consuming, messy, and often wasteful of an extremely precious resource. The objective of our study was to evaluate this time-consuming, multi-step process. We compared the current commercially available fortifiers packaged in either a single-use vial or a single-use sachet, both containing 5 mLs of fortifier, with a novel, flexible dosing bottle containing 165 mLs of fortifier. We evaluated preparation time, milk waste, and steps needed to prepare. Our goal was to replicate the real-life scenario of mixing breast milk happening in NICUs across the country every day. The study was carried out at two separate facilities with identical preparation, setup, and standard instruction forms. Each site enrolled three study subjects to test the usability of the human milk fortifier vial, sachet, and novel flexible dosing bottle. The subjects consisted of two trained breast milk preparation technicians, and one novice at each site for a total of six subjects. These subjects performed the milk preparation individually with only the investigator present. Subjects were instructed to prepare each fortifier according to the manufacturer's instructions. To replicate typical breast milk preparation, we chose three different volumes, 10, 200, and 500 ml to be fortified to 24 calories per ounce. Each fortifier was prepared in the three volumes and repeated three times, resulting in 54 preparations per fortifier and 162 preparations per site. The order by which each subject prepared was randomized and replicated for each site and subject. The investigators set up an area intended to replicate a centralized mixing room or bedside mixing model commonly used in the NICU. Instructions for preparation were read to the subjects. Subjects then selected instructions for mixing, and the investigator began timing. Subjects gathered supplies and prepared the fortified milk. Time was then stopped. This process was repeated until all 27 preparations were complete. Now Amy Gates, primary investigator, will discuss the outcomes. Thank you, Bethany. First, let's define our outcomes. We defined milk waste as the volume of milk left over once the volume of breast milk needed was prepared. For example, if 10 ml of fortified breast milk is needed, you would add one sachet or packet of fortifier to 25 ml of breast milk, resulting in 30 ml of breast milk. The waste in this scenario would be 20 ml. We defined the time to prepare from when the instructions were picked up from the table by the milk technician and until the milk was fortified. We define supplies used as the total number of bottles, packets, a fortifier, measuring equipment that were needed to prepare the milk. Supplies were standardized for each volume and each product. We found a statistically significant difference in all four of our outcome measures. The time to prepare the novel flexible dosing bottle was significantly lower than for the single-use sachet or for the single-use vial. Supplies needed and steps to prepare were lower for the flexible dosing bottle compared to the other two products. Most strikingly, the volume of milk wasted dropped from 13.5 ml of milk wasted for the single-use sachet and 13.3 ml for the single-use vial to only 0.67 ml for the no novel flexible dosing bottle. The flexible dosing bottle reduced the time needed to prepare fortified breast milk by 
and the steps needed to prepare by 61%. The milk waste was dramatically reduced by 97%. When we compare the three systems of preparing fortified breast milk, we can see that the amount of milk wasted for the single-use sachet and the single-use vial are far more than what is wasted with a flexible dosing bottle. The new bottle allows for targeted fortification of the exact amount of fortified milk needed while preventing waste of this valuable and limited resource that is so crucial for preterm babies. Fortification of breast milk is a time-consuming process that involves multiple steps. The risk of cross-contamination or error increases with each step taken. Reducing the number of steps could potentially reduce the risk of error and fatigue associated with opening multiple individual packs of human milk fortifier. Time is a valuable resource that must be utilized appropriately. In a busy nursery like mine, a 37% reduction in time to prepare breast milk equates to at least one hour per shift. A novel multi-use bottle for breast milk preparation reduces the waste of breast milk by reducing the number of steps needed to prepare fortified breast milk. Time needed to prepare this task is significantly reduced. A simple bottle change can prevent breast milk waste and make the process of breast milk fortification more efficient.